Hey guys, today we are going to talk about the iPhone 17 Pro. Now, if you do not already know, this phone can shoot ProRes RAW. Now, because of that, of course, the file sizes are much larger, so you will need some sort of SSD drive that will plug into your phone. I opted for the Lexar. It's a one terabyte portable SSD. Speeds are over a thousand. Literally just plugs in with this adapter, type C adapter to your phone, and that is it. And it's portable and it's unnoticeable, so it's really good. Now here we have the magnetic KNF variable ND filter. Uh, this is just a great affordable option if you guys are looking for something just kind of quick to set up. Um, there is some setups of course that you can get where the screw is not going to be screwing on to the phone screen, but I'm just setting it up here just so we can go over this video and to show you what you can do to start. Now it is pretty durable, you can see that it's not going to come off unless you bump it to something, but you should be fine. Now, let's go over the settings now. In order to shoot ProRes RAW, you're gonna need an app that supports it. I'm using Blackmagic. And actually, a quick tip here, you can see that the bitrate is actually grayed out. That is because I'm in the ProRes codec. If I go to the HVC, all the bitrate options now pop up. So then I just set it to max, I want the, the fastest bitrate, and then I go back and select ProRes RAW. Now to get that open gate feature, you're gonna to head to your record settings and then go to resolution and then select open gate. Now, this will allow you to use a full resolution of your sensor, meaning that it's gonna be an uncropped footage that you are gonna see on your end. Now, because of that, it is gonna be a little bit funky. It's gonna be different. You know, you're getting the full size. It's a four by three ratio sensor. So that's what you're gonna see. Now, in this video, I'm gonna test some footage here of the Blackmagic app. I have my ISO set pretty low because I do have the variable ND filter on the maximum setting. And then I have my zebras here as well set to 80%. This is just a good range to have it for your highlights to expose for the highlights here. And then it also comes with a LUT. So you have a Rec. 709 neutral LUT already built in, no monitor needed, nothing else is needed to be able to do this, which is great. Um, and the app allows you to switch between the three lenses, but for this test, we're gonna stick to the 24 as this is gonna be the best looking image out of your camera. And now we are just gonna do a little montage of some iPhone clips here using ProRes RAW and Apple Log 2 HDR. Now, take a seat, relax, put the volume up and just have a good time because I'm gonna take you guys on a trip. We're gonna get some boa, take some video of some buildings. It's just gonna be a lot of fun. So let me know what you guys think and let's go. Man, that boba was good. All right, here I have the iPhone 17 set up uh, as a basic studio lighting setup here. Um, I did not color grade this footage. I just set the exposure just so we can kind of see how the iPhone looks raw out the gate. And honestly, it's not that bad. Um, if you wouldn't tell me, I wouldn't really be able to point it out right away. Maybe if I looked more than yes. But this is the Sony a 7 Just so you guys can see the difference. It's honestly not that bad. Um, of course, the Sony a7 IV has a little bit more background blur, and I think it's just a little bit more softer on the skin and on the just the footage itself. That does come because it's not like as digital as the iPhone. You know, iPhones always just digitally sharpen everything like too much. But this is not bad, bro. Now, just remember the Sony a7 IV does cost a lot more than the iPhone. But if you are starting off, at this point, an iPhone 17 is a great option to start off. Um, I'm going to go back to the iPhone footage here just so we can take a look now. Now, open gate is great, but it also comes with some disadvantages. Um, one of them, which is pretty major, is that you do not have stabilization. So um, you should definitely want to rock some sort of gimbal or some sort of rig to just prevent a lot of those jitters that are happening while you are videoing. But um, it's something that you, you know, 
or should think about before shooting. Um, and one of the advantages of open gate is, you know, full resolution size, uncropped. So you, you can actually crop in later on, or if you have to stabilize the footage, it won't be cropping in so much because you're coming from a full resolution sensor rather than a crop 16 by 9 sensor already. So it's a great option for really more post-production features. Now, what is ProRes RAW and how can this help you? Now, ProRes RAW is just a feature that allows you to change your camera RAW settings, meaning like, you know, ISO, temperature, exposure, even after you already shot it. So here I'll just show you an example, right? So we're just going to look at this footage that you guys already seen here. Um, in DaVinci, I'm just going to select the node here and go to the camera RAW option. This will be the very first option on your left-hand side in your color grading tab. You're going to switch the um, option here where it says decode using. You're going to go from camera metadata to the clip. This will open up some more options here on this tab. Now, if you take a look, I'm going to go ahead to the ISO. And you can see all these ISO levels, right? Now, I shot it in 400. We're going to switch it. Maybe I'm feeling a little bit depressed, you know. Let's go ahead, make it a little darker. So I'm going to go to 200. And boom, darker. And maybe I'm feeling a little bit happy, you know. I'm like a happy guy. We're going to go higher. Let's do 640. Now, you can see that it's already brightening up your image. This is not the actual like color grading. This is the actual footage itself. So this is my camera footage, not color grading. Um, so if I head now, I can do the exposure. So I'm going to go to exposure bias and darken it a little bit and then brighten it up. You know, there's a lot of options you can do with this. And then if you head over to your color temperature, we can go a little cool, maybe a little bit warm and a little cool and a little warm, a little cool warm. You know, it's just so many options. Now, will you use this all the time? No. Um, ProRes RAW is not for every shoot, but it's just a good thing to keep in mind. It's like, okay, maybe I did not like the way I shot it. You go into your DaVinci Resolve, you know, you're so excited to edit, and then you realize your footage is too dark or too bright. But don't worry, because since you shot in ProRes RAW, now you can go to your software and raise up your levels or even decrease it. So just the fact that you can have like that flexibility is great. Now, of course, because of that, the file sizes are much bigger. So um, a minute video for me was like 12 gigs. Oof. So, you know, it can be pretty lengthy. But um, that's why it's very um, good to carry around an SSD drive. Um, this will help you being able to shoot ProRes RAW without, you know, stacking up your storage on your iPhone, especially your brand new one. So um, if you guys haven't already, you know, just take a look at what you already have. Try to make use of it and take advantage of what this iPhone can do. You know, it's, you know, obviously it's not a cinema camera, but the fact that I can do open gate ProRes RAW on an iPhone is crazy. Not even a Sony camera, unless you get like a crazy expensive one, can do open gate. So it's cool, man. It's uh, not too bad. If you guys did like the video, go ahead and please leave a like, comment, and just subscribe. Uh, it'll help out a lot. I want to be able to push this video out to more people and just more of the work that we are doing here. Um, my goal is always to help and educate whoever I can. I'm not that very educated myself, but I just love to show you guys how to take use of the tools that you have and how to better yourself. And I hope you guys like my Jesus shirt there. God bless you guys. And you guys be safe. And let me know what you guys think. Have a great day. Bye-bye.